Welcome back to Basic Electrical Engineering Laboratory. In this session, I am going to discuss important viva question from the experiment, namely measurement of inductance and resistance of a given choke coil. So we are using three voltmeter method. Let's find out some probable questions which can be expected for your viva was. Moving further. As you can able to observe the first question, let me discuss the first question. What is three voltmeter method? So three voltmeter method is used to measure the unknown resistance and the inductance of given choke coil. That is why we are using three voltmeter method. Second question, what is inductive reactance? See, inductive reactance can be defined as an inductor of certain resistance in the circuit. For example, let me draw one simple circuit. So we are connecting an inductor in an AC supply. There is an AC supply. Inductor has been connected over the correct. So current started flowing through the inductor. But the thing is a certain resistance which is going to offer by the inductor. That is called inductive reactance. It is denoted by the letter XL, X subscript L. XL can be calculated by using the formula L into omega. So we can write L into omega means angular frequency. You can write in terms of supply frequency, that is 2 pi f. So what is the unit of inductive reactance? The unit will be ohm only. O. Unit will be O. Okay. Unit that may be asked directly. What is the unit of? So inductive reactance O. Then what is the unit of uh, inductance? Unit of inductance will be Henry. Third one, what do we mean by impedance? Impedance is nothing but uh, the R, L, C, etc. Those positive components offers certain resistance in the circuit. Impedance is applicable only for AC circuit. The passive elements such as resistor, then inductor and capacitor, correct? Those components offers certain resistance in the circuit that is termed as impedance. Impedance is denoted by the letter Z, correct? What is the unit of impedance? Unit of impedance will be O. Okay, so you may, you may be asked with the calculation of uh, the impedance of RL circuit, RLC circuit, etc. For RLC circuit, the impedance can be written as Z is equal to square root of R square plus XL minus XC, the whole square. Okay. Where XL is known as inductive reactance, XC is known as capacitive reactance, R is the resistive component, value of resistor. Correct. Next question is, what are the differences between moving iron and moving coil instrument? MI stands for moving iron. Okay, moving iron. You can note down moving iron. MC means moving coil. Tell me the difference. See, moving iron instrument is suitable for AC measurement, where moving coil, that is for DC measurement. I think it's clear to everyone. Okay, while selecting the measurement devices for AC circuit, kindly use moving iron. Don't use moving coil for AC circuit. If I talk about measurement of DC circuit, you are supposed to use moving coil instruments. I think you got my point. How do you calculate impedance of a choke coil? See, uh, we are supposed to follow three voltmeter method. See, three voltmeter method. Okay. Three voltmeter method. In that, there is a formula. Please refer the experiment. So, impedance can be written as Z is equal to V3 divided by I where V3 is the third voltmeter, where I is the current. Okay. So if you calculate, you will be getting uh, the impedance. Then uh, suppose if it is an RL circuit, how to calculate impedance? For RL circuit, impedance can be calculated by using the formula R square plus XL square. This formula also you have to remember. This is a general formula. Uh, but whatever the thing is, regarding three voltmeter method, you can use the given formula that is z is equal to v3 upon i let us discuss question number six 
what is the relation between supply frequency and inductive reactance? Uh, simple question. Inductive reactance is nothing but L into angular frequency, omega. That means L into 2 pi f. 2 into pi into f. Here, XL is directly proportional to the supply frequency. What does it mean? See, as the supply frequency is high, definitely inductive reactance is also high. Both are directly proportional. This point you need to note down. Okay, moving further. So I request everyone to note down these points. So it will be really helpful for your uh, viva verse examination. Okay, you can answer very well. And uh, note down the formulas, note down the concept. So no need to elaborate because it's a viva session now. No need to elaborate. Whatever you know, try to convince the examiner. Okay, kindly note down all the points in, a, in your diary so that you can recall frequently. Okay. Today we discussed important questions related to three voltmeter method. So I want to add a few more points. Then they may ask about different units. So what are the units of frequency, supply frequency? Supply frequency unit will be expressed as hertz. What is the unit of angular frequency omega? It is a radian per second. Okay. Similarly, the what is capacitive reactance? Capacitive reactance is nothing but uh, in an AC circuit, capacitance offer, offers certain resistance. That is called the capacitive reactance. It is given by 1 by C omega. Uh, it is nothing but 1 by C into 2 pi of C into 2 pi of. Now another question, what is the relation between capacitive reactance and supply frequency? Capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to the supply frequency. So if I plot a graph between Xc and F, I'm able to get uh, the graph just like a hyperbolic curve, you know, they may ask you to draw the relation. Okay, such kind of questions also can be expected. Like this, I'll be getting the relation. Uh, moreover, what is the unit of capacitive reactance? Capacitive reactance unit will be expressed in terms of ohm. Unit will be in terms of ohm. This point also you can remember. Okay, then uh, what, where, where you can observe the choke coil? Choke coil you can observe in the tube light. There is an inductor. In the olden days, we are using the manual type of choke coil. But nowadays, uh, conventional choke coil is replaced with the, the triac based choke coil. Triac. Have you ever heard about triac? Okay, triac is actually nowadays we are using. It is triac is replaced uh, with that particular conventional choke. Nowadays, triac is uh, implemented. It's a power electronics devices. It's a power electronic devices and uh, triad. Triac is nothing but triode for alternating current. Okay, it is a simple tri uh, uh, power electronics device. Uh, you can also call it as triode for alternating current. See, it, it will be having three terminal: MT1, then MT2 then gate. Okay. It's a bi-directional device. Correct. That will be helpful for uh, controlling voltage control. Okay. Mainly for AC voltage control. It will act as an AC voltage control. So no need to go in depth. If you belong to electrical background, electrical or electronics background, it is advisable to go through the triac. You will be learning in the higher semester, especially for EC, uh, electrical, uh, ele uh, instrumentation. Those branches, to, those, student, those students are those belong to branches, then they'll be learning uh, in the coming semesters. Okay. So these are the important questions which you can expect for the Viva, Viva session uh, from three voltmeter method measurement of inductance and uh, resistance of unknown, unknown shock coil by using uh, three voltmeter method. So if you are having any queries, please put up in the comment box. I'm very happy to answer uh, or wish you all the best for your examination. Uh, do well. Thanks again.